All right, well now we step out in our parking lot with the uh, 58 Thunderbird, Billy Gibbons. Uh, Pete from uh, SoCal Speed is uh, with us as well. And of course, uh, the professor, Sandy Gans. Don't be shy. Uh, so what do we, Lo, can I just compliment you? First thing I noticed is the uh, windshield wiper sort of delete, which yeah. most of the time you get either windshield wipers or no windshield wipers or valve stem cover on top of where the windshield wiper thing was. But the knob this looks like a nicely machined bullet plated thing with a keeper allen screw on yeah, it yeah yeah well uh that came out of the 50s uh when guys were getting a lot of tickets and all that but this is they didn't want the wipers screwing up the paint right so the wipers ended up in the trunk and the cops would pull you over and they'd make you take those off and put the wipers back on and then you drive a block and put the, put the bullets on. back on and put the beer out yeah, yeah. oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> beer oh yeah that. yeah oh that yeah well when you you're could driving during the, for the morning this is, uh, those of you who are just listening, uh, beautiful black with uh, gold and a white pinstripe. A white's a weird color for a pinstripe, but it really breaks up the gold. It breaks up the gold and the black uh, quite yes, nicely. It's, it's a nice transition between it's the skull and the gold. It's actually a cream color because the white yeah, is so Yeah, white, white would pop too much, but yes, a cream colored pinstripe. Is this hand pinstripe? Yes. You it's can unbelievable the, you can see how the guys little can little inaccuracy around the curve that a dude But it is, all hand painted. It is it's amazing uh, how guys can do that. It's, it's really such amazing. an art form. It is an art form. I, as, uh, as the teardrop spotlight also hand painted uh, right uh, scalloped uh, the, the the neat part of this statement. I call it a statement and sure. uh, it was Pete's vision to take this uh, kind of uh, stock 58 bird we, we followed Pete's good judgment and removed the humped scoop in the front and yeah. off, off the hood. It makes it look really funky too with uh, the well, four. It, the yes. earlier ones just it's just well, a hood say, scoop it, on a it, Thunderbird they, doesn't. They put the wrong scoop on it if they were going to do scoop. So taking it off and making it more like a '57 Ford with the peak down the middle actually kind of brought the section of the car a bit visually. And it just gave us a place for a, you know a, a nice touch going down the on the scallop. It looks longer and sleeker, and it's so so sort of just uh, anti-custom in the sense because customizing cars is all about adding scoops to cars yeah. where they yeah. didn't yeah. exist. You That's never true. think of the scoop delete. Yeah. No one goes, oh, oh man. It's almost like saying, I'm going to get rid of that scoop and lift the roof three inches. Yeah. <laughs> the reverse chop. Like, what? I like this. Scoop, scoop, delete. Scoop, delete. Scoop, delete. Scoop yeah. delete. That was my gay porn name back scoop. in the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to work with scoop, delete? No, yeah. thank no, you. No, thank yeah. you. We got the word on him. Uh, all right, so scoop. the deletion of the scoop, uh, what else is going on as far as the sheet metal well, goes? Well, we just, we just took a lot of the a lot of the trim off the car, the stuff that was kind of, you know, chromey. Yeah, it was a little flash. bit, a little bit too much flash. Mm -hmm. Even though we flashed the car up with the, uh, with the scallop. Well, it's your flash now, as opposed to Ford's. It's Ford's flash, because I thought some of Ford's flash was a little over the top. The, so. the term for this car would probably been gaudy. Scoop, delete. You're working with Ford flash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now let's go. There's two. <laughs> So, uh, and uh, the gold, the color for this gold, it, it, does it have a, is it a stock color? Does it exist? Uh, John Kosmoski out of Minneapolis, the House of Color. Ah. They developed the, uh, the uh, tent. I think this would be a, uh, it's not candy pagan gold. It would be a pearl it's pagan. Pearl pagan, yeah. And the interior is just uh, unbelievable. The same scheme gold Match, black with the cream piping to kind of uh, break up the two surfaces yeah, well, matching gold to the paints kind of incredible well as Pete was uh, uh, describing the car over the phone uh, the upholstery man said uh, gee whiz uh, maybe I should have a look at the tone and uh, Pete walked in and there was a small swatch sample and they laid it side by side and it was Perfect. Yeah, it's really just, close to the gold. Just dead on. See, normally guys put the primary color inside would be black. Right. And um, and it's a little uh, mundane though, you know. Well, that's it. So when I told the upholster that I wanted to go primary color gold, he kind of knocked him back a little bit, but he got into it and it, he did a beautiful job. 
It looks uh, amazing. And should we, we uh, should we pop the hood and take a look at uh, what's under it? Why not? Yeah. And uh, the interior accents are great because it's very custom, but with a lot of the original. It looks like uh, a lot of the original gauges and, and touches. Well, we've left everything pretty much stock as far as the motor and all that goes. But it's the old tilt up three. So we got a 352 in it and didn't get crazy and didn't no, get I into like the. That, no, for this car, this is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it's and, and, and it's so, you know, when you guys did the Eliminator back in the day, it was, a, you know, it was a bit of a novelty to see uh, a, a radiator hose that was made of braided steel. Right. Or, you know, high-rise manifold and a, hey, hey, what, what kind of, that's an aftermarket air filter. Like, it was actually, it was a real novelty to look at an yeah. engine that had been dressed up a little bit. Oh, yeah. But now, it's almost, that's almost so fucked out, pardon the pun, that it's almost like you long for the sort of stocker throwback. No, I mean, we were luck. blessed that all nice. of the stuff was on this car when, uh, well, Billy bought the car 20 years ago and it's been sitting in San Antonio and it was uh, was one of the top 100 cars in, in the T Bird genre. And so I kept bugging him, we ought to do it, we ought to do it. So finally he rolled over and so the car had. Rolled over, did a concert, called you out. That's he, right. He says, I'll have to go back on the road for this. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, how does it work with the T-Bird guys? Uh, I mean, I know there was enough examples of these things made where they're not going berserk that you yeah. breathed on the car, but are there some purists who are going like, hey man, you don't take the scoop, scoop, delete, we, come uh, on. We pulled up, uh, we were on Santa Monica and, and the corner of Santa Monica and Wilshire, and Pete and I were taking it out on the, the maiden voyage and, and uh, everything was uh, humming right along. We pulled up, to the light. Oddly enough, a guy came up in a red 58 bird <laughs> and he looked over and he saw scoop delete and the window came down. He he went berserk, went yeah. ballistic. You can't do that. Really? It's wow. You told him that it came with a scoop This is California. Delete. You'll meet yeah. a lot of those nut jobs on the road. It's Scoop's just a hood. Scoop delete, also good yeah. name for a cub reporter who works for a metropolitan yeah, in newspaper fact, in the Scoop. 50s. Yeah, so we metal finished all that. I mean, you know, right. not crazy, but enough to where it's still got. Yeah, the underside yeah, of the, the hood is We've got, clean. We have to put in the Lamborghini. You're missing, well, we're missing your, the cover. your diamond we, quilted we're padding. We're missing the cover, yeah. Yes, uh, we'll talk off the air. So uh, again, the, uh, <laughs> the, the engine uh, just got a nice straight ahead, uh, well, it's, it's, enough it's chrome, cool. enough yeah. chrome valve to satisfy covers, valve covers, and air, air cleaner. With a, you guys Pops. obviously did a little paint match gold on the top of the air cleaner, but just a nice cool, authentic, stockish vibe but the 352 decal on the rocker cover, or the valve cover, I should say, and uh, it just looks, it looks amazing. I uh, like the, uh, again, uh, with Pete's uh, sense of vision and knowing the right touch, the, the hint of lime in the uh, candy spotlight? tent yeah. on top of the spotlight yeah. in the center of Dodge yeah. Lancer hubcap. Yeah, really. Yeah, don't pump them up too much because at some point you're going to be doing it on a car. And, yeah, the, you know, you got to keep them down a little it's bit. Coming. Yeah, you have to pay for that vision. You it's have to coming. go out on the road again. <laughs> All right, Pete, let's see what this baby sounds like. I like Thank the you. license plate frame too. Spark it. Smooth. Smooth, quiet old Ford. Yep. Both run silent. Run silent, run silent. Run silent. Nice. I'm ready to go for a ride there, Pedro. Yeah. Nice. Uh, well, again, uh, the car's, uh, the car's just I guess uh, the best thing you could say about any car is about the best thing you could say about a uh, a stew. It works. Yeah. It just it's weird because when you start describing what you're gonna, oh, we're gonna take the '58 and then we're gonna take the scoop out and we're gonna do a gold with a cream pinstripe over black and your head's just kind of picturing. I have no idea what you're picturing, but you really just finish it. You stand back. You take in the totality of it, and you go. 
either it works or it doesn't work. Right. I mean, it's yeah. just when you take that first spoonful of broth up to your lips, it doesn't matter what's in it, how long the guy worked on it, where the vegetables or the beef is from, you either take a sip and you like what you taste or you don't. And no ma amount of explanation is really ever gonna change that. And the thing about this car is it works. Well, Speaking of broth, uh, there's room for four of us. Maybe we should uh, hop in, go up to uh, Jimmy's Super Lunch at the corner, grab a couple of tacos. <laughs> Jimmy's Super Lunch. <laughs> really break like it in. Yeah, living large. Uh, Pete, Billy, uh, this has been a, a treat. We uh, got to let him toss out a plug. Oh, yeah, toss out a plug. I'm yeah, sorry. Tour, touring. Oh, great. Right. Yeah, uh, yeah. The ZZ Top show is uh, moving right on through the season. Uh, if you got time to come out, we've got a great show lined up for you. And be sure and listen to Adam and Sandy, and uh, you'll be fine. <laughs> he gave us a plug. There yeah, it is. I like that. Helping <laughs> us, help him help us. Uh, Comes full circle. Again, thanks a bunch, guys. It's been a real treat. And, uh, you know, next time you're in the neighborhood and you got another car you want to show off, by all means, it's come taco, on down. It's taco time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>